Hey everyone, what's up? It's Joshua here from Alternative Brewing. And today we're checking out the Fellow Ode Brew Grinder. Now this is a product that many of you may have seen and the first reports of it are that it doesn't seem to have a direct competitor in the home market. This is a grinder that may just set the bar. It was the last piece of the puzzle for Fellow products who offer everything else you need to brew a delicious cup of coffee. Now the Ode Brew Coffee Grinder is designed to be used as a filter coffee grinder. Using large stainless steel burrs, it's practical to use, super quick to grind, and has a variety of deliberately engineered features that make the Ode an enticing option for home coffee brewers and lovers alike. So we're gonna run down through the rest of the grinder now, but first, be sure to smash that like button as it does help the YouTube algorithm and we'd really appreciate it. So without further ado, let's jump straight back into the video. Now the grinder is built on an aluminium frame with stainless steel parts. And other than the hopper, grinds catch a lid and the base of the grinder that are food grade plastics, it weighs 4.5 kilograms, feels really solid and well built. And if you've already got some of Fellow's other products, then the aesthetics of the Ode are gonna fit right in. And at first glance, you would say that it's almost looking like a baby EK. Now having a coffee grinder allows you to prepare your grounds right before you brew. And it nearly goes without saying that freshly ground beans will always make a better tasting coffee. To operate the Fellow Ode, you just need to press the one button at the front of the base. Now the Fellow Ode's hopper will hold 80 grams of beans at a time, and it is intended as a single dosing hopper. So you're first weighing your beans out and then grinding them straight through the Ode. We're not necessarily keeping beans up top. Inside the hopper, you have the shoot cover that acts against popcorning of beans during operation. The compact size without that large unnecessary hopper of other grinders keeps the Ode under 24 centimeters tall and it'll pack in nicely under any kitchen cupboard or even stored away inside it. Now the Ode Brew uses vertical mounted 64 millimeter flat stainless steel burrs powered by a PID controlled motor. And we could really take each part of that sentence and break it down a little further because for a home grinder targeting filter coffee brewing, this arrangement really places the Ode in a league of its own. The two considerations when using flat burrs that could be unfavorable, but are intelligently mitigated in the design of the Ode are heat created during grinding that will transfer from the beans to the grinds. And having hot grinds just makes bad coffee altogether. And there's usually a noise produced from flat burr grinders. These two factors are generally related to the power output required from most flat burr grinders. So the motor and the burrs do have this reciprocal relationship. First up, larger burrs means a larger surface area for cutting the beans. And this assists in the astonishing speed of the Ode Brew grinder. In my testing with the Ode, using a full 80 grams of coffee across several grind settings, it averaged an impressive 3.5 grams per second of grinding. Taking that to the daily use, for say a regular filter brew of like 17 grams, that's less than four seconds for a total dose. So with such little time spent operating the Ode, I'm not overly worried about the issues arising from heat buildup in the burrs. It's just not gonna be an issue at home unless you're brewing say 19 filter coffees back to back or you are going to grind more than 300 grams of beans at a time for say a cold brew immersion. So one of the better features that goes unseen in the Ode is that smart speed PID controller in the motor. Fellow adopted this design to stabilize the motor at a consistent 1400 RPMs from start to finish. So whether there's a whole dose of beans in your hopper or you're coming to the end of grinding a dose, the PID controller will adjust accordingly to ensure that the same forces and speed of the burrs are exerted to the whole dose. This feature keeps the Ode operating under a consistent 60 decibels when grinding and also contributes to a better grind size distribution. So the smart controller will also monitor the load on the motor to know exactly when those last beans have been ground through the burrs. So you have to turn the grinder on, but it will automatically turn off once all your beans have been ground. And it's something to get used to, but certainly should be a standard feature on all single dosing grinders. Now the Ode also features a grinds declumper that stretches across the exit of the chute. It's two metal wires that stop the grinds from sticking together as they pass out of the burrs into the grinds cup. Now in changing the grind size on the Ode, it is a stepped grinder. And on the front dial, you can't miss it, is the very large and easy to change grind adjustment wheel. Smooth clicks take you to each of the 31 step settings with a range of options from one being the finest to 11 being the coarsest. And you also have two steps in between each of those numbers. 
Now there's no zero setting on the Ode, but the burrs will touch around the one setting whilst new. And it is suggested that the Ode will take around five kilograms of coffee for this to wear off. And you will also see an increase in the performance regarding consistent and accurate grind sizes once the Ode burrs have been properly seasoned. And this is typical of most grinders. Now the Ode brew is calibrated for all filter coffee brewing methods and Fellow have placed a grind size adjustment chart under the lid of the hopper for reference. I found this to be most accurate for a majority of brews I tested it on and it was only marginally adjusted due to the beans or the recipe I was using. So I'll place this in the description down below. At its finest setting of one, the Ode produces a grind size perfect to be used with the Fellow Prismo AeroPress attachment that makes espresso. You can find the link for that product in the top corner of your screen. Now my approximate crude sifting of these grinds, it came out at around 500 to 600 microns. The ranges from two to five on the Ode, I could see these being used the most, as this will incorporate a majority of manual pour over brewers like the V60, Kalita and Chemex, also AeroPress and the Delta Coffee Press. Around the six and you're getting into Mocha Master and larger batch brews, and you'll find French Press is at around 7.5. And if you're cold brewing, you'll find that perfect for around the eight to 11 mark. 11 being too coarse even for the 1100 microns of the crew. Now the Fellow Ode would not be anywhere close to my choice for a home espresso grinder or for any brew method that relies on a fine grind similar to espresso as it really doesn't have that range suitable for grinding fine. It is designed to offer accuracy and a large range of grind adjustments. So I suppose it does mirror espresso grinders capabilities but it does so for dialing in the perfect filter coffees. So if you're already convinced that this is the grinder for you, you can shop it by following this link up above. So I've always considered when grinding coffee, there's going to be a mess involved. It's just unavoidable. But Fellow have specifically added several features to help alleviate this mess and placed in a clever grinds knocker on the side found here. And this is you wanna use before and after grinding to clear the chute out of any of those stubborn grinds. And it will work to limit the amount of grounds found stuck up in the chute. Now the Fellow Ode uses an electronically grounded chute and chamber, which also works to reduce the static buildup during grinding. Now I have found static to still build up and I do continue to find grounds get everywhere, but I'm not shocked by this, it's not a lot, and the grind retention in the Ode is around one gram or under. So long as you use the grind's knocker and perhaps give it some time after grinding for that static to disperse, you'll have no problems keeping the mess to a minimum. And to add one more further detail to the clean workflow is the magnetically aligned catch cup with plastic lid. The benefit here is when you place it under the chute, it'll always slip into place where you need it. The one small dilemma though of having magnets on the catch cup means you really shouldn't be placing this on a set of electrical scales, as scales themselves use magnets and it will interfere with an accurate reading. So if you don't have scales or you don't have an extra container to weigh your dose out into, Fellow have provided ratio aid dots on the inside of the catch cup to measure in 20 gram increments up to 80 grams. And the catch cup also includes easy pour fins to provide a smooth flow of grinds into the coffee brewer of choice without any grinds flying out left or right. And that pretty much sums up the whole performance of the grinder, except for one further detail that should be mentioned. And it is how incredibly easy it is to disassemble and clean, which is something you wanna do with any grinder. Fellow have made it pretty straightforward here. And so long as you turn the grinder off from the power to access where the burrs are, the setting plate pops off with no fuss, undo the four screws behind the large dial, and then that will come away. You've got a small shear plate you wanna remove, and then the rotating burrs will slide out. You'll then be able to access the stationary burrs at the back, and each burr set has three screws holding it to a plate. Remove those, brush everything down with a cloth to remove any dust or oil buildup, and place it all back together in reverse. And that's the Fellow Ode Brew Coffee Grinder for you. Now, Fellow Industries do very well at pushing boundaries, and they've proved this time and time again with multiple quality products that each seek to offer something unique to the user, helping you enjoy make delicious coffee. The Ode is no exception to this, and it brings without question commercial grade quality features to the home coffee brewer at the fraction of the size and cost. So if you have any questions on the Ode, throw them in the comments section down below and we'll get back to you. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon on your screen and then that way you know when we release a new video each week. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.